So what I wanted to new, do now while I'm watching Michael Baseman's thing over here is to show you my refrigerator. You see my whole shower scene and all that. First time in the house taking a shower. Other than when I've been in the hotel. It's gotta be um, 13, 14 years. Now I'll shave my head with the eyes ready to shine. I'm looking good, I'm happy. And it's not all about money, people. It's not about money. I discovered me. And that's why for 10 years I have not had sex with a woman. I didn't give them the oil gratification. I didn't finger them. I didn't touch them. I ain't felt no breath. I, oh, I did grab some booty from this big, thick girl from the Bronx. I'm um, sure I may, but uh, it was one of them black relationships where you 30 something years old and you a home attack. You ain't did nothing with your life. You just got you a baby. Can't get child support from no Negro because he ain't nothing. And he totally screwed your life up. And every time you come out here and see me from the Bronx, it's costing me $50 for you to take with you somewhere about something. And I'm freaking homeless in this freaking house. Sucked up so much freaking dust. I got the freaking like, I got a new behavior modification because I need to breathe because my lungs are freaking clogged from this crap. And so I was smoking, hopefully stopping smoking will help me expunge this crap. That's why I've been going to the sauna in order to extract this crap from me because I can't disappoint this guy. He swears up and down, dust can't hurt you. And it's freaking total toxic, freaking piece of shit he had over here. Got he done sunk. How do you think $290,000, $300,000 into a fucking piece of shit that you're going to sell for three fifty, three sixty? That doesn't make fucking sense. And I know you made a mistake. But, and I couldn't leave that guy. I'm living next door to you. I couldn't come and camp out here. Then I start this whole homelessness shit. And then it's almost like somebody doing me a favor living in this piece of shit that I'm doing as much as I did with this as a skit. Uh, um, uh, uh, what's that called? When you got you a, a set. Everywhere I go, that's what I do. I create something out of nothing. And right now, you'll see me take a shower in here. I'm cleaned up in here. This is one of the few nights where I'll be able to sleep and not in total fucking fear of just sitting there breathing in this fucking contaminant that's fucking killing me. And when this house was fucking built, it was nothing but asbestos. But after sinking a couple hundred thousand dollars into this shit, do you think he's going, he even gives a fuck? Never thought about who would have to stay here to protect this motherfucker because these Negroes come and take your fucking shit. They did it already. I'm keep tired of hearing the stories. But I don't want to be the goddamn sacrificial fucking lamb here, man. For fucking nothing on top of it. And it's like somebody doing me a fucking favor because they're keeping me off the street. I played that. I did that. Now watch me and where I'm going to go get my fucking food. That's my refrigerator. So when y'all think it's so fucking great and everything I've been selling y'all about how beautiful life is in this fucking dust bomb. It's after the freaking dirt where you're living in so much fucking contaminant and fucking dust and the asbestos and all that shit's out. But now it's all the dust from all the residual shit. I came and turned the lights on. I have to keep the lights on at night. And that's what I do to make sure everybody knows somebody lives here. This is my food. Freezing as a motherfucker out there. And this is where I keep a freaking sandwich I bought today. I gotta thank Nick for giving me this freaking gig. Or else I'd have been spending money somewhere else. And resources would have been less and all of that shit. But I probably would have been it up in New Jersey. And had my P.O. box in 
Queens County in order for me to file this lawsuit, but that was the biggest thing. Thank you for the adventure of letting me stay around here so I can certify that everybody knows that this is my residency in Queens County so that I don't have to worry about anybody asking for a dismissal because I'm not here. That's why they wanted to kick me out of here or have me locked up in jail, okay? So that I wouldn't have the residency requirements in order to be able to file a lawsuit against those black elected officials in the entire city of New York. This is it right here. A Melissa. Roast beef, ham, pastrami, and everything else. <coughs> Six bucks. <coughs> My shortness of breath and all of this coughing, people, is your metabolic function fighting off the contaminants that you're seeing how I every night got to freaking go through this shit and I'm tired of taping it. And there goes this whole thing about this black relationship thing with our buddy, Mr. Michael Baseman, who was kind enough to give me a free DVD and a book that I didn't have no money. He was empathetic. I sent him a big, long, super letter with all a bunch of videos, but I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. This guy... This guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, not her, him, cannot take my story anywhere, no matter how much information I give him about black elected officials being a bunch of black traitors that didn't check the Bloomberg administration on redlining and civil rights violations. He's making money. He's boning a whole bunch of bras with my money. So help me God, I can get a girl like 20 year old young lady. Why? Because I'm driving a freaking Lexus. I got a freaking crib. And I'm buying the broad shit. That's black relationships, Mr. Baseman. Mr. Michael Baseman. Okay? Mr. Michael Baseman. Black relationships have an economic component that I just can't live with. It's too subclass. It's too freaking low down. I don't give a damn what kind of these looking like middle class fat broads that are middle aged that you ain't taking them to the movies rubbing all up in a freaking crotch and doing shit young motherfuckers do, man. Alright, that's all out in California, all the bougie Negro. That is not the average black guy, ladies and gentlemen. That is not that you know what the average black guy look like. The average black guy, some slum ass fucking nigga from the goddamn hood. There's 70, 75 million of you freaking motherfuckers here. And you showing me 15 to 12, not 13 percent. Well, that is the Haitian aristocracy from where I come from, not the servant class. That's 85 percent of the total population of my country by the time I left there. Give me a freaking break here. You Negro are just so fucking dumb. All of y'all with all that shit can't take 15, 10 motherfuckers and make sure. That like when I hit on these broads with all these fucking kids. First thing I'm thinking about if I'm getting together with her. First thing I want to do is buy a car scholarship for the gear. Look, right now, I'm 55 years old. And I swear to God, I don't want no woman over 35 years old. I don't need that shit, man. That, that's too fucking old. That's too goddamn rusty. Whatever the fuck it is, I don't want, I don't want no part of it. I already... I just... Finished with a whole bunch of two old women. My woman right now, my ex, 78 years old. Uh, I've been five, five, four years now. She was 72, 73 years old. She's still my woman. Then, um, that lady Hazel. She older than me. Damn, she like close to 58. I don't want that. 
I would meet some young women that's got pizzazz, that's going somewhere, that's blah, 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 blah. Okay? I don't fell down solo and do such a fucking piece of shit. I gotta just leave this fucking country and start new somewhere else, man. What the fuck is this being black in America bullshit all about? That's for you Anglo emancipated colored slaves. That are separated between house niggas and field niggas. I have something else that's better for me somewhere else, man. Everybody leave somewhere else, come over here. And they come and take your black shit. <laughs> So why don't you just let me leave here with everything I gave to you in this fucking country and then exile myself somewhere to a better country for me. That's all I'm asking to be released. I'm a prisoner in this fucking house and making the best of it. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this shit. Is that your average regular black bro? Yeah, is that your average regular black bro? I'm faking a goddamn orgasm. Because you get paid by your lifestyle, your expectations, and your holier than thou bullshit. Let's listen to the brother. Oh, you were born in the first night and you don't want to? That's a broad that dig you, you fucking idiot. That's a broad that dig you. If she born you the first night day, she don't want to fuck no more. That's a different story. But what's your issue here? You ain't looking for no wife? And something can build out that relationship through time. So about you get together and you fuck. I believe in that shit right away. Why, if you dig me, you fuck me first and then we sort the rest out later because then we don't have any conflict of interest as to where we're going together. I believe the first night run into somebody and bone it. <laughs> but you gotta be careful now these, these STDs. <laughs> so me, I'm real careful. Ain't touched shit in 10 years and I'm proud of it and I expect something absolutely spectacular for me. Why? I fucking deserve it. I'm such a super bad motherfucker. I know it and if you can't see it, that's what I'm talking about. Everything I've had and everything I was to what I've become again, which is no other person than Dr. Philip Jackson, the same guy who brought you all of this entertainment, all of these characters, and all of this fucking bullshit to keep my story alive, to take it where I want to go. And this is an interpersonal relationship of you watching me live my fucked up life that I don't have a problem with. Do you?